afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz. I'm the director of R&D at Intelligent Concrete, where we specialize in bringing to you that magical world of concrete. Now, uh, it's our Q&A Wednesday, and we've got an awesome question from JC George 2010 Ding! Ooh, that was a loud one. I heard some steel vibrate. Um, can sugar water be used as a spray-on surface retarder. Yes, 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 er, yes. Uh, I don't think sugar water is the right way to say it, but yes. And I, I'm guessing you're saying a surface retarder for exposed aggregate, and if that's not the case, I'm just assuming that until you tell me differently, JC George 2010. But what I would do is um, make up a simple syrup. Make up a simple syrup first that you hold as a stock solution and then from there dilute that stock solution when you get to your job site. My only concern is that sugar water doesn't normally stay in solution very well so if you make it up on day one, use it on day five, you might have an inconsistent solution that you're using. That being said, whatever method you come up with, let's say you have a simple syrup that you do like a, a one to five ratio of, of uh, water to sugar and you get it really by, I don't know if that'll work, but let's say that's the ratio and you keep that on stock and then on the job site to use it as a surface retarder for your exposed aggregate, you do a one to one by, by volume, let's say. You know, half a gallon of, 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 of our simple syrup, half a gallon of water. Let's just say that's what it is. I'm not saying that's what you should use, but let's say what it is. Uh, that solution that you finally make up, as well as inf everything in between to get to that point, you've got to try over and over and over again and make sure it, it, it works consistently. You never want to try something out on a job site if it's a first time or even a fifth time. Like I would wait till you get your 20th time of using it, trying it, understanding what you've created before you bring it onto a job site. But I mean using that method, yeah, you could create something with sugar especially as a surface retarder for exposed aggregate. I've done it a number of times, just need to do a lot of legwork. That being said, there's plenty of good products out there that actually do that for you and you might be saving money because you don't have to put all the backwards homework into it to make sure you're not failing on the job site. Because that's the worst thing, that you can have an inconsistent exposed aggregate and you have to resurface it and oh, forget that stuff. So hopefully I answered your question, JC George 2010. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take that bell for notifications. Go, Go concrete. concrete. Beat asphalt.